When it's time to actually take up the hem, the hem allowance of about three centimeters, what you need to appreciate is that we're taking a wider curve and putting it up to a slightly smaller sort of space. So there's going to be some fullness in the hemline that needs to be accounted for when we actually sew it. So initially what I want, to want, to want you to do is fold up three centimeters to the wrong side and pin it as shown in the video. You want to make sure that the seams line up with themselves when you fold them back up. And then when you've pinned up where all the seams are and the front edges, then go in between two seams. So right in the middle of one of the panels of the skirt. And then start ha halving each area. So we've gone halfway through um, one of the back panels and then we halve that again. and then half those little spaces again. And what we're trying to do is distribute the fullness quite evenly across the skirt because it's a little bit fuller where you're pinning than where you're folding. So once you've got the pin in place, then just really delicately iron a crease line around the bottom of the skirt. If you put the pins in as shown in the video, then you shouldn't have a problem um, with the pins. You're really just ironing the actual edge where it's folded and trying to get a nice even three centimeters folded up. In the video I'm using glass head pins so if I accidentally ran over the heads of the pins they wouldn't melt. If you had plastic pins you have to be careful because you don't want to iron the head of the pins, the beaded part or the pearl part because then you'll actually melt the plastic. Once you've got a nice even crease right around the bottom of the skirt then you're going to do what you did at the front edges of the skirt and that is to open up the hemline and tuck the raw edge or the cut edge of the fabric into the crease and fold it back up. So you're folding up half the amount and not the whole three centimeters. And it's actually three layers of fabric and not just two. When you do this it's a good idea also to sort of spread the pins out when you're pinning and then start pinning in between two of the wider pins. You're still trying to take up some of that fullness evenly across the hem. When you get to where there's a seam, make sure the seam is in alignment with itself when you, where you fold it up. That way you don't accidentally twist the hemline. If you put a bit of a twist in it while you're pinning it up, then you're certainly going to twist it when you're sewing it. And that tends to make the hem look a little bit ugly and make the skirt not sit quite as nicely. You'll need quite a lot of pins when you're pinning around the hemline of the skirt to help control that fullness. Now when you're ready to sew what you're going to do is line up that fold that you've just pinned into place with the inside prong of the presser foot just like you did when you sewed the front hem lines in place. Do a back stitch at the start. Take the pins out when you come to them. The difference is when you're sewing the hem line you really have to sew quite slowly and if there's any fullness like a, a bit of a fold that starts to sort of grow in front of the presser foot. You need to kind of pause for a minute and push some of that surface fabric in towards the needle. You're creating just like little tiny tucks or pleats all the way around as, as required. What you don't want to get is a really big tuck. If you get a really big tuck it tends to throw the hem a little bit out of whack. So as you see, it's kind of like a little wave starting to develop. Just push the wave in towards the needle with a pin in your hand and just feed it under the foot. So you'll, you'll have lots of little tiny tucks around the hem. You won't see them from the outside. 
and you see them on the inside and that's just because you've got a wider curve which you're sewing up to a slightly narrower length of curve. So take your time, push that surplus right up to the needle as you need to. Going slow is really important at this stage. If you go really fast you're going to end up stretching sort of the top layer and your whole hemline will be a little bit skewed. When you get to the end you want to make sure that um, the edge that you're sewing doesn't stick out and show it um, past the front hemline so definitely push some of that fullness underneath the presser foot so that when you get to the very end of your sewing it's flush with the end of the, um, the or the front edge of the skirt so it's this where I've got a slightly bigger tuck than I had in other places Make sure you backstitch it on the end. The skirt is now finished. You just have to clean up any loose threads that are showing or inside and give it a good iron. Ready to wear.